they asked me to say a few words about my appearance in the movie Speak. Let me give you a little background. My wife and I dated in high school a long time ago. I was three years older than she was. I went off to college. I came back and her father wouldn't let her date me anymore because I was a college boy. I was a fast boy. I was someone who couldn't be trusted. So we went our separate ways. And then as I was getting ready for my 50th class reunion, I registered on classmates.com and within a several days, I got an email saying, do you remember me, Carolyn? And it was her. And I said, of course I do. What have you been doing for 50 years? And she said, well, I have been. I have three lovely children and three fantastic grandchildren. How about you? I said, well, I have two sons and two grandchildren. And by the way, you didn't mention a husband. And she said, I've been divorced for some time. By the way, you didn't mention a wife. <laughs> and I said, I've been divorced for some time. So we got together in 2006, and at the same time I developed cancer. And my two sons had been estranged for a very long time, and I vowed that before I went, I would bring them back together. And that gave me a speech topic. But I wasn't quite ready to go for the big competition. When we got married, and our sixth wedding anniversary will be next month, or the end of March, actually. And two days before uh, the, our wedding day was the area contest. And I had won the club contest, and I wasn't expecting to compete. I thought, I'll just go. And there was only one other competitor, and he read his speech. <laughs> and so I went on and so we got married and she followed me for the rest of the year if you've seen the movie speak you know that what happened was once we won the regionals in June Tumbleweed Entertainment from California had an agreement with Toastmasters International to follow the finalists around they came to State College they interviewed Carolyn and I and if you've seen the movie, you know that every time it's shown, we're voted as the cutest couple in the movie. <laughs> and it turns out that in 1970, I was the oldest person ever to compete in the finals of the World Championship. The movie that you saw can never be made again because Toastmasters changed the rules. Now, instead of having the semifinals in June and the finals in August, the semifinals are on Thursday and the finals are on Saturday. So there's only two days difference between them. So the, the finals can never be followed again as they were. But we became very close. <coughs> we emailed back and forth. There were ten of us who should have been ready to go to battle, but we all became very close friends. If you remember from the movie, Lashunda Rundles, who won the contest, I spoke two places before her. When I was done, I came back out and sat next to my wife, and when Lashunda was finished, I turned to Carolyn and said, that's the winner. Unfortunately, she had lupus. When Tumbleweed finally edited the movie down to an hour and 26 minutes or whatever it is now, they had a viewing at the Tallgrass Film Festival in Wichita, Kansas. <coughs> and Lashunda and I were the only two contestants who attended. That was the last time I saw her. She appeared to be very healthy at the time, but unfortunately, at the following conference, she became ill with pneumonia and passed on and I really miss her as well as many of the others. But the important thing is, is I didn't win. But I told the story of how 
I brought my sons back together. Monthly, the three of us get together and the boys talk as if they have never spent time apart. And when I told that story on the international stage, dozens of people came up to me afterwards and said, I haven't talked to my mother in years. I'm going to call her tonight. I haven't talked to my son in a while. I'm going to write him a letter tonight. So that while we can't aspire to be as effective and it change as many lives as Martin Luther King does, if we change just one with our speeches, that's one person whose life is better off. And so that's why the speech contests are so important. I still intend to be the oldest one person to ever win the International Speech Contest, but it may be. If I live to be a hundred, I may do it. But those of you who now know who your speech chairman is, be sure and sign up. Because we all have within us a message that someone has to hear that will change someone's life. Yeah. And it's up to you to get that message out. So thanks for having me tonight. This is a fantastic group. I only wish I uh, lived and could convince Carolyn to spend half the year in Florida and I would be here every Monday night. So thank you again, Mr. Toastmaster. Thank you very much.